Hi, I'm Andreas Rydman, Line 6 artist, guitarist, session musician and producer from Stockholm, Sweden. I've had the privilege of touring in over 50 countries all around the world. And when I'm here at home, not on the road, I work as a session musician and as a producer. I also release my own music, like the song you just heard, Scusi Gnuse, for my latest album. But now I think it's about time we get to the fun stuff, right? Let's check out my preset, Rydman 2. Yes, okay guys, let's check out my preset and the, the heart of it all is the amp. It's a J45, it's like a JMT45 style amp that I've set like on the edge of breakup and I, I usually ride my volume control on my guitar quite a lot. So if you dig in, you will get distortion and if you pick soft, it will be clean. So to demonstrate the, the core tone is kind of like this. If you hit it. Full volume. A bit backed off. So that's the core, the core tone. So the snapshots you heard in the, in the performance of the song in the video before. So this first one. It's called less because I put this pitch vibrato thingy on it that's make it sound like a Leslie. You can see the settings here, here on the screen. So snapshot two, I'll call that one slap because it's, it's got a slap delay. It's the transistor tape, as you see here. And I've said it, this is, this is my favorite setting for slapback delays, 175, and you got the feedback on zero, so you get one repeat. And there's a bit of there's a bit of reverb to, on it too, but we'll get to that. And I've actually boosted the amp here with a Minotaur. It's like a clone style pedal that kind of makes the amp a little bit more compressed. And I haven't added that much gain to it actually. It's it's more more I've added the the level I've bumped up the level a bit to, to add some more gain to, to the sound to make it more to get more sustained but not necessarily a lot more drive. So snapshot three this is uh, I've called this one big because it's uh, it's quite a big sound. Now that's a long reverb for you. <laughs> okay, uh, this is for the B section of the song, which that starts with this big E minor 11 chord. It's a vintage dig digital delay, and you see the settings down here. So, and actually, the trick in having a sound this big not getting mushy, I found out that, like you see down here. I've split the signal, we'll go through all this in a while, from amp down to two cabs. And one cab, I have all the delays, the slap, this big one, and then an even crazier one. And down, this is a 412, a Marshall style thingy. And down here, this is a, a 212, like a Vox style cabinet with, with Alnico's. And I've, I've done that to get like a, bigger, fuller sound. Uh, I, 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 like, I really like the combination of um, Alnico and ceramic speakers. And back here, this is like the, the big guy for this sound. It's the cave reverb. And as you can see, it's long. <laughs> 8.2 seconds, that's quite the... But the thing is, since the delay doesn't, I have a lot of feedback on the delay. And if you had had the, this big delay feeding into the reverb all the time, that would make the reverb grow and grow. And since you have a eight second reverb, that's a really long reverb tail. To clean it up a bit, I routed the reverb so they come in here, up here, after the, the delays and last in line is a looper. So, so this is the, the big sound for the... You've 
gotta love that big verb, huh? Okay, and the last preset is, it's even spacier. And I call it ambient, and it's the same long vintage delay. And then we have this delay. It's a transistor tape, but set to a, a, a half note. And then the big reverb as well. And the same vibrato as in the first patch to make that both reverb and delay would spill over. So when I, if I have this big sound and I switch back to my slap, I get a spill over on the delay and reverb, reverb. I really like that. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. This is the preset with four snapshots and uh, I hope you dig it.